guys, Anthony from Lucia Footwear. We're here in Phoenix, Arizona at Soul Play 909, taking Ty Pete, Seattle Mariners prospect, sneaker shopping. Let's do it, let's do it. All right, Ty, we're here at spring training in Arizona, first year of professional baseball. Walk me through that process of becoming a professional athlete. Yeah, so, I mean, I've always been uh, kind of in the in the loop with kind of professional athletes like being in these shoes now it's a, it's a lot different like I look back at it and I told my 16 year old self like you'd be in these shoes I want to believe it my only goal was to get to this point what was that process like of you know hearing rumbles about you might get drafted and then ending up getting drafted getting that phone call when your name's called on the TV that day uh, me and my dad and my best friend his best friend we all went golfing kind of just to take my mind off the draft because uh, I was pretty stressed that day I didn't know when my name was gonna be called I didn't know if it was gonna be you know, late first round or early second round the next day. So I was kind of just hoping for a, for a call. I got a call from my agents, told me, you know, the Mariners were looking at me. And that was one of the teams that I was like my top list. Like I, oh, awesome. I wanted to go to this team and, and I wanted to play for this organization. It's just now that I have that chance to do it, it, it was amazing. My name is Todd Pete and I'm a Seattle Mariner. You become a professional athlete, you get drafted, you sign. What's the first thing you do with your signing? The first thing I did was actually bought my dad a golf bag, bought him a putter, uh, and I tried to buy him a driver, but he returned it before I re receipt, <laughs> ripped the receipt, but got my mom some headphones. The first thing you did when you finally hit it big was give back to your family around you. Yeah, I feel like that's really important. Um, I feel like that's a big thing, and one, one other thing, I, I bought my little brother a PS5 for his, uh, for his birthday, wow. just so he can play with me uh, when I'm away. I feel like giving back is just something something very important to that's, your family. That's incredible, man. Good for you. That's awesome to be able to do that, and yeah. just take a lot of pride in that. So, super awesome you took care of the people around you first. What's something that you did for yourself? First thing I did for myself was I, I've been looking at a nice car for about four or five months. It's kind of been my dream car for a while. And uh, I bought an AMG GTS uh, 2016. It was my baby. Uh, that thing, I, lo I loved it to death. You have an interest in cars. Do you like any other brands or any other makes of cars? I'm a big Mercedes guy, obviously. My first, that was my first favorite car. But my dream, dream car is a McLaren 720S. That's badass. Seven, eight years now. But um, right now, I have a Porsche. So I, I have an electric car. I'm, I'm driving every day, so I really like it. Tell me about your Adidas deal, obviously. That's huge to be represented by such a big company. So on the field, I've been wearing Adidas shoes for about four or five years. Uh, my mom kind of was the, the plug for my shoes. She would give me all the, the newest Adidas. She would almost do it for herself. Uh, she just wanted to see the shoes on my feet in the, on the field. She would buy me all these cleats. I'm like, Mama, like, I'm not wearing those. They're neon. She was like, just do it. Come on. So she was my batting glove and she was my shoe guy. Like, she loved it. And uh, I love her for that. Like, she, you know, she bought me all these shoes. And now, now that I get them for free and now that I get to pr promote them on the field, I love them. Just the comfort makes me feel faster. They're lighter. So it's just, it's always been a number one for me. How does that translate for you off the field? What kind of sneakers are you wearing off the field? So off the field, I'm wearing all Adidas Yeezys. Uh, the, the Yeezys are the comfortable, like most comfortable shoe. I have a couple pairs of slides. I have a couple pairs of 500s, a couple pairs of 350s. Uh, I just love them. I mean, I like the look of them. I'm starting to kind of get used to it because I used to used to be in the different shoes, but now I just kind of like I like the look of these and I like I like kind of how it flows in the, the style I'm changing into. Absolutely, yeah. yeah. Like they kind of fit in with more of the modern look and right. more of the retro right, look right, right. at the exact same time. You can really wear them with anything. How many pairs do you think you have of Adidas sneakers, Yeezys? In Adidas sneakers, I probably have about 12, okay. 12 or 11, but like in total, probably about 32 pairs. I mean, I've always been in shoes since I was like 11, 12 years old. Dude, these are just wild. Like, just, it's just really like, good. it's so bold. I don't know, I like them. I like them. I promise you, my girlfriend would throw them away. <laughs> she, would hide, she would hide them for me. Yeah. Cause like, I, I, I even told her one time. Yeah. I was like, what about those? And she was like, no. Hey. It's like, all right. I do really like these, so I'm, I'm gonna pick these up. I'm gonna pick these up. And then do y'all have, do y'all have a size six in the uh, the 350s over here? These bone ones? Yeah. Yeah, six, oh no, six men. Yeah, or, or eight women in these uh, three. 50s right here. Cool. Yeah, I gotta get her a pair. She's been wanting some of those for a while. How are the slides? Oh, dude, the do you have a pair? I do not. Get you a pair. Yeah. I promise you would change your life. I wear them everywhere. Everywhere, yeah. I'm gonna call her. These are Adidas? That's wild. What about these? You like these? Mm, no. no? Why? 
SpongeBob? Okay, what about these? I remember, I remember you said you loved these, right? Just giving it alien. <laughs> okay, all right. I like these, like these type of t-shirts, like graphic tees. I brought a lot. I have a, I have a SWV one. I have, um, I have a Marilyn Monroe one. Like I have like all, I have a bunch of artists because I'm a, I'm big into music. Who's your favorite artist right now? Usher. 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 I'm like, dude, what? <laughs> Oh, I, I might have to get. It. I didn't even know. I didn't even know that I had that. Yeah, I'm, I'm a huge '90s R&B guy. '90s, 2000s, early 2000s. Like, I will, I will always stand by J Cole. Like, I went to this this past Nashville. I went to his Nashville concert. Oh, I heard that. Was yeah, I went to that with J Cole and Drake, yeah. and that was like that was an experience I'll never experience again. Yeah. I will never feel that again. Uh, like having those two in the same building, yeah. just watching. I like I didn't even record. Like half the videos I didn't even record. I was just watching. Some of Drake's songs like made me like double think. Like, oh. I didn't even know he said that the first time. The first, first 10 times, I didn't even know he did that. That was a quadruple entendre. Hey, do you? All oh, yeah, see, keep me away from that. See, I don't want to, I don't even want to buy all that. I will, I know, I will buy it. That's what I'm saying, I don't even want to. Yeah, yeah. Yeah, see, like, I'm all the neutral colors, like, these colors, the, the beiges, the browns. Yeah, he's the, yeah, he goes with everything. When I was talking about these, like, I like the neutral, but what, this is a bold, the, that's bold, but like, I like it. Like, Cause there's a sweatsuit that we have, I think it's this color. So if you have the- Y'all have it here? With it, I think so, yeah. It's just in the back, I'd have to go grab it, but. Let me I'm see, what's yeah. Like an XL? Yeah, XL. Okay. Are you like that too with your cleats, or do you like a little more? Nope. I have all yellow cleats. I have all yellow cleats, yeah. So. And I have, uh, I've, I just got a pair of blue and white cleats. Shout out to Adidas, they sent me like 12 pairs of cleats. My leg guard and elbow guard are yellow. My favorite color. You have anything in Mariner's teal yet? I have a couple sleeves. Uh, my turfs, I have some teal turfs, but my, my mom's favorite color is turquoise. Oh yeah, see, I like this hoodie. Yeah. Man, all right, yeah, I'm gonna get this. I'm gonna get this in the sweatpants too. I try to like, I try to dress up. I like dressing up. It's just what I, I like to wear, you know, some baggy cargos, nice little black shirt tuck it in. Um, I like to wear a nice fit, because like, you never know, you never know what people are watching. Do you remember, A, your first autograph, and B, like, what's it been like now, obviously coming to spring training, and yeah. by people and stuff, like, how is like taking that in? Yeah, my first autograph was when I was 12 years old, Little League World Series. Oh, right. Yeah, because I played the Little League World Series, yeah. and I signed like some little kids, like, ball. And then once, like, one little kid saw that, then they all started, man, I'm like 12 years old, so I'm like, I'm just drawing on the ball. I just drawing on it. And then like, yeah, I was like, what do I, what am I supposed to do? You know, after that, I, I talked to my dad. He's like, look, you're gonna have to start like, so you have to sign, you have to get a signature. Like at that time, I was just writing my whole name, like printed out, printing out my name on the ball. That's what my middle name? Also. Yeah, I was like, your, your middle initial, like dot, do I need to, like I, all that. And I ended up signing thousands of stuff. I was 12 years old. Like every, every, people asked, they didn't even know who I was. Like they were just like asking to ask. Like I get it. Like if I'm a little kid at a baseball game, I'm just gonna ask somebody. Total is 846, my man. Cool. Whew. Thank you very much. Yeah, appreciate you, man. Whew. All right, bro. We just finished up shopping. What'd yep. you get? All right, so representing the A, I got a Funko Pop Usher. It's my favorite artist. Uh, personally, I've been listening to him for since I was about eight years old. So my mom put me on Usher. And uh, yeah, that's been a pretty cool collectible here. I got some uh, 700s uh, representing the Yeezy right here. I got a nice colorway, just pretty sticking it with neutral. Um, I really like these though, so um, you know they go a lot, of, go with a lot of things. But I mess with those a lot. And then uh, I got an essential sweatsuit, um, kind of the match match with the, the shoes I just got. But um, I love my love my sweatsuits. I got some for the girl. I got her a little brown and pink pair of shoes. She is um, a big pink fan, so you know, I thought her thought I'd get her a nice gift. Uh, her birthday is coming up soon, so happy birthday! But that's everything I got. Thank y'all for shopping with me. Um, you know, I had a lot of fun, it was pretty cool. All right guys, just wrapped up shoe shopping. How'd we do? Yeah. Dude, shout out SoulPlay909 in Phoenix. Uh, got me some heat, got me some stuff for the girl. Uh, dude, I love it, man. I love everything about it. Awesome, man. It was a great yeah. time. Appreciate you Pleasure. having me, man.